Hey guys, Ben here. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be what's inside my cricket bag. So there's quite a lot of stuff inside my cricket bag and yeah, all of it's quite good stuff and yeah, I like it. So let's get into what's inside my cricket bag. So as we open my bag up right here, we've got first thing is a thigh pad and it's an aero P3 strippers and for anyone wanting a thigh pad I would definitely recommend these they're so good um, they're just really strong really powerful and they protect you so much um, and at 24 pounds they're actually not that bad uh, in price um, yeah if I had a spare 24 pounds and I didn't have a thigh pad I would definitely buy a pair of these because they're just really good and like for my age they're good because they're quite small so they're quite small lightweight they don't really affect you when you're running uh, between the wickets so that's good and yeah I love these thigh pads definitely would recommend them to anyone so yeah that's the thigh pads so next we've got some cricket balls in here this is meant to be for my gloves but there's just a few cricket balls in here and there's one of these this is just like a I don't know like a 30 40 over ball um, a couple of old ones here a couple of old ones not the best condition I just found those in the net so yeah um, we've got a pink one for under the floodlights this one is got a tennis ball because um, one of the drills I like to do is hit um, a ball with a tennis racket um, when I'm batting for a batting drill so yeah I have a tennis racket and I hit this ball or uh, my brother hits this ball at me or my dad and then I uh, just practice my defending it's really good for sort of faster bowling training uh, then I've got a new ball here I only got this a couple of days ago I haven't used it yet you can see that but it's really new and I'll definitely be using it in the nets uh, very soon so yeah it's a bit of, it's a, bit of a net ball because I'm probably not really going to use it that much I've got a Champions Trophy hat here it's from 2013 when it was in England and Wales and speaking of hats I've also got this Outlaws one it's my go-to hat I always wear this as a support for the Outlaws as you can see and a couple of boxes can't play without a box and then I've got um, some gloves I think these are New Balance TC 460 I think I'm not too sure um, it did say on the side but it rubbed off I've had these for about a season now they're really comfortable and yeah they do the job they're not like the top of the range gloves but they do the job well and uh, yeah I recommend these as well if you've got a budget of about you know about 20 pounds um, 25 pounds these are good um, they're comfortable lightweight and they're perfect really for anyone sort of my age um, because they're not too expensive and they're also really good next up I've got my helmet it is a I think it's a Shrey but uh, it doesn't actually say on the side of the helmet um, it used to say inside but then the thing like fell off um, that, that it said it on so yeah this helmet's pretty old now I'll be looking for a new one because yeah it's pretty old um, I've had a lot of uh, wear out of it though and yes it's quite comfortable inside as well but I don't know if you can see but it's really sweaty inside it's really just wearing away so yeah next season I'll be looking I think for a new helmet um, and as well as some new kit as well so that'll be good and uh, yeah we'll see what we can get but that's the helmet so we've got here uh, a Slazinger X-Tech armour arm guard it's does the job it's pretty good I don't really wear it that much because I don't really find that uh, in my matches that I play in the bowlers don't really bowl too many like uh, bouncing deliveries so well, I'm, I'm defending um, like the faster the faster bowlers but they're not really as we've pitched the ball up they're not really bowling like shorter length of me so I don't really need this arm guard too much but I'll probably use it um, when I get older because I've been um, I'm used to play a few seniors games um, so I'll probably need that then. That's an arm guard. Yeah, it does the job pretty good. 
Uh, we've got a Wilson. Um, it's just a like a, a catching mitt, and if you're just doing a few drills, like you're doing a catching drill, it's meant to be for baseball, but you can use it in cricket as well. Like a lot of coaches have these these days. I can't put it on properly. So straps turn up, but yeah, a lot of coaches have these these days, and it's basically just yeah, if you're if you're doing a bit of catching or you're doing a bit of uh, practice like that then yeah this will be um, good for you because like you hit the ball and they'll throw this back and you can catch it in this easily so yeah it's a really good addition to my bag I only got it recently so um, yeah it's pretty good and I'm sure you'll see this uh, soon in a few of the videos I do in the future so stick around and you'll see this bad boy in a few videos that's really good as well um, yeah it's hard to get used to though pretty hard to get used to um, you're probably thinking what about the pads and here they are they're Puma Kinetic 2000s they're not amazing I have to say um, but they're pretty good uh, they're pretty soft inside but the straps um, they're not very thick they're not very padded they're just like bits of velcro um, with a bit of fabric on them so yeah I'll be looking for an upgrade on these pads maybe um, soon um, definitely for next season so yeah these pads they're pretty good but they don't they're not the best in the world um, there are better ones out there but yeah then again I've had these for about three seasons now and um, they've done me well I haven't had any broken legs, any broken shins, thankfully, so yeah, it's down to these. Um, then again, I haven't really been hit on the thigh, sorry, on the pads that much. Um, but yeah, they're pretty good, um, even though they're not the best in the world, but they do the job, as a lot of my stuff does, does the job. And um, But yeah, I'll be looking for an upgrade on these for next season, so that's the pads. Um, I just got a couple of All Out Cricket magazines, but unfortunately, um, All Out Cricket have discontinued these, so yeah, we won't be seeing any more of these, but I just have these in my bag just in case I'm waiting to go out to bat and I get a bit bored, I want to read these, so um, yeah, that is the All Out Cricket magazines, it's got a, a, a bat cone here, um, for putting grips on to my bat. Then in this pocket, I've got sun cream. Most important thing that you can have probably. Um, make sure you don't get burnt. So that's pretty good. It's Nivea sun cream. Put that on for every match. I've got a How's Up Cricket game, um, a mini game. I'm sure quite a few of you have seen this before. Um, yeah, it's a really fun game. It's basically a roller thing and it tells you how many runs you get or if you get out you want another one if you get out and you see how you got out or, um, or everything it's really good um, yeah I've played it quite a few times it's just a fun little game to play with your friends got a bit of linseed oil if my bat looks like it needs topping up with linseed oil then um, yeah I can put this on um, yeah it's really good uh, but yeah um, I think I got it from Branch Brothers. Um, you can pretty much get this in any sort of hardware shop. Um, it's yeah, it's pretty good value as well. So I think it was only about five pounds. So that's not too bad. I haven't really used it that much though, as you can see. By the bottle's quite full. Um, then last thing before we do my bat, we've got some Adidas Hausat spikes. These. I've had these for about um, two or three seasons now. Um, I think I've had, had them for two seasons actually. But yeah, they're really good. Um, they're getting a bit on the small side now. So again, I'll be looking for some new ones for next season. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the uh, Adidas ones because they're really comfortable and they just sort of. They're just really good and just really sort of hard wearing as you can see there's no sort of splits on the leather or anything there's no like tearing in the fabric um and they're still in pretty good condition so yeah that's the spikes 
And before we go on to the bat, I'll just say my bag. So it say New Balance DC. I think it's a 580. Um, new for this season. I had I only had it this season, but it's not as big as like some of the bags that some people have. But it does the job and it fits all my stuff in, which is the main part. Um, I like it. One thing I would like to see though is a few more pockets because um, I don't. It doesn't have that many pockets, and then. Aside from this one, I'd like to see a shoe tunnel because I have my shoes in here right now and it isn't really amazing. There's two there's only basically two options, put my shoes in with all my other kit, which would just make my kit really smelly and dirty. Um, or I can put it in here and not really have any space for any accessories, or I can just carry another bag around which I don't really want to do. Um, but yeah, it's a good bag. Uh, sorry, it's a good bag. Um, but yeah, could do with a few more pockets. It's only got three at the main compartment, this side one, then it's got obviously the bat tunnel. But speaking of bats, we've got my bat. It is a grey nickels Omega XRD. I've had it for again, I've had it for about two, three seasons now. So yeah, I'll be looking for another upgrade on my bat. Um, but it's good. I think it's still got a few matches in it. And as you can see from all the cherries on there, I think you can see that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can see that well, but there's, there's a lot on there um, from that red ball we play with. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice bat, really nice piece of willow. And I I'm mainly chose this bat because I like the way it felt in my hands. It felt sort of sturdy when I hit with it. Um, and uh, also because um, Alistair Cook used it as well, I liked it because Alistair Cook used it. And also I think uh, it appealed to me because of the stickers, they're quite flashy and bright with that sort of yellow, uh, lime, blue and that red colour scheme. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite an appealing bat. And then obviously with my yellow grip as well, it's even more appealing. But yeah, it's uh, really good and also another bonus is it was pre-prepared and knocked in by Grey Nichols. So um, yeah, it was really good. But the toe guard's coming off it, the stickers all scratched, all the, the there used to be like a fiberglass lining on the front, but yeah, it's, cut, it's come off. Uh, I've got a bit of fiberglass tape on there though, on the toe. It used to have a bit up the top, but again, that came off through a lot of wear um, and use. But guys, that is my bat, and that is also my bag. So guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please remember to subscribe and like and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified when I make a video and you'll be the first to see it. Thank you for watching guys, see you next time.